Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. It's been a really long time since my last video. I've already prepped my skin for this. I put moisturizer, primer, lip balm, sunscreen. I, I did all those. I'm gonna start with my foundation and I'm gonna use my go-to by Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 105. I'm just gonna put it on my hand. This amount should be enough. I'm gonna use my finger to just dot 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 dot. Dot, dot. And then now using a wet sponge, just blend. You can always add more if you feel like you want to be extra. Of course, don't forget your neck. A lot of people tend to forget their neck. And you don't want that to happen because it'll be an even and they'll know that you're using foundation i mean you're using foundation but you don't want them to know you're using foundation you know what i mean now for the dark and red areas on my face concealer this is the maybelline fit me concealer in the shade number five as you can tell i use it a lot and so the label is like worn out okay so i'm just gonna put it under my eye Dot, dot, dot under my eye, my nose, side of my nose, and hello pimples. And of course, blend it again with a sponge. And for the concealer I put on my pimples, I usually just use my finger. Because I feel like if I use the beauty blender, it just it just doesn't work. I don't know. Maybe for me, it doesn't work, but for some people it does. I don't know. I really don't know. You just gotta do what works for you, right? Time for the eyebrows! This is my favorite eyebrow pencil, but I ran out. And due to lockdown, I had to buy something that's available close by. The closest color that I could get was this pencil by Vice Cosmetics. I bought it from SM. It's the closest store that I can get makeup from during lockdown. And I got locked down in my hometown, in the province. So yeah. I am gonna fill in. Oh, hello pimples. Hello, how are you? I am just gonna brush my eyebrows upwards and then downwards. Then I'm gonna start here in the middle. So you're basically just filling in the gaps. There you go. You can actually clean your eyebrows up with the foundations that you use or you can just leave it as it. But I will clean my eyebrows and I'm gonna use this brush by Morphe. So again, I'm just gonna put it on my hand. Moving on to eyeshadow, we are going to be using this Morphe palette. This is the same palette that I used as well for my previous video. It's the 35W Warm It Up. For my eyes, I'm going to use this pink shade right here. And I'm going to use this fluffy brush by Morphe. So just take this shade. Put it right in my crease. I always, always lift my eyebrows when doing my crease and with your clean brush just get this color this is called rosy and just take some and I'm just gonna put it on the outer part of my eye and then I'm just gonna blend it inwards so just outer corner towards the inner part of your eye. You can always add more, but remember, just keep blending. Mm 
now it's more pink. Okay, I think that's it. I don't know if you guys can hear, but it's raining. I don't know if that's gonna ruin my audio, but it's okay, I'm just gonna talk louder. Using a small flat brush, I'm gonna add a bit of this color like dark purple it's called hitch now i'm just gonna apply it on the outer corner of my eye which is right here put it until the middle part of your eye and using a bigger brush than the flat brush you're just gonna blend it towards your inner lid I'm gonna use my finger and take this lovely shade. This is called Wifey. And I'm just gonna use my finger and apply it right here until the middle part of my eye. I'm gonna take this by MAC, just use my finger as well to just put a little bit more. You know what? I'm gonna make this a bit darker. Use a really fine brush and get this color. This is called Toasty. And just put it on the tip of your brush and just put it really close to your lash line. So I'm just doing it on the outer corner until like a third of my lash line. Just really close to your lash line as possible. And I'm taking the same shade and I'm just gonna put it on my lower lash line. I'm only putting it like on the outer corner and probably like just a third of my lash line. Just until there. Now using this shading brush by Real Technique, use this color that I used for my lid and just apply it on my lower lash line. Now it's time to curl my lashes. I'm just gonna do it like really close as possible to my lash line. And now for mascara, I will be using this Falsies Lash Lift by Maybelline in New York. I don't put a lot on my lower lash line, but I just put it so, you know, it's there. Now for a little bronzer, I'm gonna do the famous three, which goes like this. I'm using this eyeshadow for my bronzer. This is my contour brush. I'm just gonna get this shade and start with my cheeks. When I ran out of bronzer, I used this shade and I liked it since. And I've been using it since. And of course, don't forget to bronze your nose as well. I'm just gonna use a smaller brush and use the same shade for my nose and just start from the middle part. And for the blush. Don't judge me, but I actually use my eyeshadow as my blush. I'm gonna use this color. It's called Vows. I'm just gonna get this shade and put it on my buffing brush and smile. You can add more if you like blush, which in my case, I do. Blush is like my favorite makeup. I literally just put it everywhere. Now for my highlighter, I'm gonna be using this by MAC. This is actually a blush, but because there's too much shimmer, I just use it as highlighter. I'm just gonna get a clean brush and just apply it right here. And under your eyebrows. Bam! For my lip, I'm just gonna use a lip glow by Dior. 
This is in the shade Coral 004. This is actually a gift from my cousin. I'm just gonna put it on my lip. And the final, final step is of course, don't always forget, your setting spray. This is my MAC Prep and Prime and just spray. Just wait for that to dry. Okay, I guess that's it for my look. So I'm just gonna change my clothes and I'm gonna show you my final look. And I'm back. This is my final look for Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching my video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.